So this is the 2020. Okay. This is the 2020 Chungjung 650. Um, the bike itself is built by Chungjung or a company which has bought the name Chungjung and then the engine in the bike actually is made by CF Moto and that's their standard CF Moto 650 uh, twin cylinder. Uh, it's got eight valves, uh, six speed, uh, electronic fuel injection, uh, water cooled. So the engine is a proven, reliable engine, um, and Chung Jung's just using it um, in their retro styled modern bike. Um, it's got the interesting look of the original Chung. Obviously, it's got better front suspension, it's actually got working a swing arm rear shocks now so the back suspension works a lot better. They've kept the same style as seat. The 2018 model had the same rear seat as the old Chung as well but of course that sat very high so in the 2020 they've lowered it down and just got this cushion like on the on the rack. Um, what's the bike like? Well it's a nice looking bike and it's very good in a straight line. Um, one of the problems with the bike uh, in the solo version is this bike was really designed to have a sidecar on it. So the bike's not really designed to lean because when you do lean this bike into corners, um, the exhaust touches the ground. Um, I've been riding in the uh, mountains here in Beijing and yeah, we were, we were taking the corners, me and a lot of friends uh, who were on other just cruisers and sports bikes, but I just found that my bike in uh, sharp corners kept touching the mufflers on the road. So that's not a good thing, um, but I guess I just need to take it a little bit easier when I ride. Um, let's see what else about the bike. Um, the finish of the bike is really good, like the paint and everything on the tank and paint on the side, but all the little things, which is kind of shows that it's a Chinese bike still, is like, although this bike's only three months old now, um, there's like rust on this nut here. Um, when you look underneath here, these little bolts here are started to rust. Um, everything on it is is very Chinese. How, how else can I say it? There's just little bits of rust coming along this seam here. Um, on the front forks here, there's just rust starting to weep down from these headlight mount. There's rust around this bolt here. And little things like that, you just don't get that on a brand new Japanese bike. Um, the headlight uh, looks very fancy. Turn that on, let's see. You've got a park light which is an LED ring, and then you've got your low beam, full beam. The light looks all very fancy, but it's shit. <laughs> uh, it's just not very good at night. Um, it throws out a very wide beam from one side of the road to the other, but it is a very narrow beam. And when you put it on full beam, it basically just lifts that up, you know, a little bit. So doesn't appear to get much brighter. Um, the brakes work really well on it. It has ABS brakes. It's got three piston front caliper, single piston rear caliper. It does actually have a handbrake there and that's because of the sidecar version. So um, the bike's very heavy so it actually has a handbrake and then there's a handbrake lever for it here. Uh, it's got heated hand grips. Uh, it has hazard lights. Um, the dash cluster is okay. I added the, fan, the phone mount thing. The dash cluster is good um, with your indicators, full beam, neutral, engine check light, um, because it's uh, got a computer. Um, but when you're actually sitting, unless you must be maybe six foot tall, unless you're actually just sitting down here, I can't actually see. I can just see the two indicators, 
but that's about it. I can't actually see the other lights. So they're not really in a good position. They should have been moved maybe even up to here. So at least when you're sitting on the bike, sitting up straight, you could see them. Um, everything else is pretty normal. I added the, I added the uh, sidebars. Um, I bought them from Tobol. Uh, not so much for me crashing the bike, but if somebody push, knocks the bike over or the bike has a, a just a, a falls over for whatever reason, it would land on that. Okay.